The Lost Heart <laughs> Every rainfall turns into sunshine sooner or later, doesn't it? Time stretches thin on a rainy day, like chewing gum, but not as sweet. Why does it have to be water pouring out of the clouds? Why can't it rain popcorn, soap bubbles, or fireflies? Every rainfall turns Rain. into sunshine. Pshaw. This girl has danced with fairies and hindered stars from falling. She would catch all the raindrops and hide them in a secret place. A place so secret, even she wouldn't find them again. Be assured that the girl would have kidnapped the rain without a second thought on this muddy, grey afternoon. But instead, she finds a rope who is just as muddy and just as grey. Of course, she cannot leave him in the rain. And certainly, he has wondrous stories from his world to tell. Would it be a world full of robots? Robots who are all filthy and dirty, like this one? It's said that a nice hot chocolate can caress your soul and warm your heart. And look, after taking a sip, 
The robot is buzzing satisfied and his huge glowing eyes start to blink. Immediately, he wants to stand up and go. But what could be important enough to leave a big cup of fine hot chocolate on such a muddy grey afternoon? Sometimes you're thrown away, and when you roughly hit the ground, your heart can break into pieces, and you have to find a new one, because otherwise you will turn into rust. But where can you find a heart? Maybe in a beautiful place where it enjoys the view, or in a dark, mysterious place where it sleeps all day. It's going to be a long journey, but no distance is too far with a friend at your side. And the best place to start a quest is where it all began. The search for a heart is like the search for your lost keys. You find everything you can imagine, everything but your keys. But even that can be helpful along the way. The, the search for a heart is like the search for your lost keys. You find everything you can imagine, everything but your keys. But even that can be helpful along the way. Without a doubt, this tunnel leads to England. Or Africa. China. Or does it lead to the Boon Clock Forest, where all the things are different? Seahorses are remarkable creatures. Once they form a bond, they stay together as long as they live. And who spends his life together loves one another. And who loves one another has a heart. Maybe those two have a compass that can lead the way to a heart. Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse do not have a compass, 
but they have quite a good time making fun of the robot. You don't have a heart? <laughs> Asked Mrs. Seahorse King. Without a heart, you're nothing more than a stone, Mr. Seahorse chuckles, and both of them roar with laughter about the heartless robot. <laughs> Calm down, robot. Calm down. Every time you talk bad about someone else, your heart shrinks a little, like a balloon slowly losing air. It's really true. Hello. Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse do not have a compass, but they have quite a good time making fun. Calm down, robot. Calm down. Every time you talk bad about... Calm down, robot. Calm down. Every time you talk bad about someone else, your heart shrinks a little. Like a balloon slowly losing air. It's really true. Allow me to introduce myself. Mio the... And gliding through the air, Mio whispers to the girl, I want to tell you something. Listen. Listen well. It's not the heart that makes us feel. It's our feelings that shape the heart. Always remember them. The moth happily exclaims and flies towards the setting sun. Don't be afraid, friends. It's nothing but the wind. Or is it something else? Oh no! There are coatlings! They are dangerous! Every time your heart freezes from fear, it helps to scream. In the basement, during a thunderstorm, or facing a fat spider, you will notice that you have more strength than you thought at first. Heart is a thing that suffocates when it sees something mean, and it wants to burst with joy when it hears something wonderful. But there is no way to find a heart. It simply is there, inside all of us. Are the seahorses right? Is the robot nothing more than a stone? He gazes sadly into the lake and dreams of finally having a heart. But the girl remembers the words of the moth. If you are afraid of coatlings, happy when you're flying, and angry about those seahorses, you've got to have a heart.
girl smiles to herself because she unraveled the mystery of the robot's heart and doesn't notice that an enormous rhino is rushing towards her. Watch out! A heart cannot be completely destroyed. The girl knows that now, but a robot can. And suddenly she has to cry so many tears, like raindrops, she thinks. And she wishes she had asked the robot to be her friend and to go kidnap the rain with her on that muddy gray afternoon. A heart cannot be completely destroyed. For a year and one day, the girl searches for proper parts. She searches everywhere, at the lake, in the boom clock forest, on the mountain, and in the tunnel, and... If your feet get cold, I will warm them for you. If you ever get hurt, I will have a band-aid for you. And when you're really tired, I will gladly tuck you in. Always. Everywhere. Woo! <laughs> One day, she comes home, carrying a big bag filled with heavy objects. And imagine this. Shortly afterwards, the two friends are drinking a nice hot chocolate and plan the kidnapping of the rain. And if you look really closely, you can see why the robot is finally happy. And imagine this. I want to tell you something. Listen well. It's not the heart that makes us feel. It's our feelings that shape the heart. Always remember that.